So the Game Awards recently happened and I didn't want to let it pass by without giving my thoughts on things that I'm excited for or at least curious about. You'll notice here that I'm going to leave out all of the awards based stuff mainly because that part of the show always seems to get the least amount of attention. And you can tell the host of the show Jeff Keighley every year knows that, so that's why the game showcase to award ratio is so one-sided. So knowing that, I'd just like to tune in to see the game announcements, and anyways, here are my favorite ones. One of the first trailers that caught my eye was a game called Century Age of Ashes. It looks like a dragon-oriented flight combat game, very much styled after something like Panzer Dragoon. Now this game looks like it has a closed beta in January, and will have its full release sometime in 2021 so it's full release doesn't look like it's very far away. One of my favorite announcements was actually a really cool trailer of Sephiroth joining the Super Smash Bros. game. One of the highlights of the entire event was getting to see Sephiroth damn near kill Mario, which of course already has turned into a pretty big meme. Nintendo just has a way of doing a really good job of showing off the Super Smash Bros. announcements, so good job. Well, we finally got our big answer as to who Microsoft's new Quadruple A developer, made up entirely by industry veterans from all across gaming, was working on. They are developing a new Perfect Dark game, of which to me is almost like announcing a new IP because I've never played a Perfect Dark game. Now, of course, the first two Perfect Dark games were helmed by Rare, so that makes me super intrigued to see what the initiative can do with this IP. From the creators of Left 4 Dead, I was almost shocked to see the game Back 4 Blood. I saw there were a lot of people online that were upset that this wasn't Left 4 Dead 3, but with Valve owning that name, the creators kind of had no choice but to make a new game if they wanted to create something similar. I also saw there were some people that were upset that the game looked so identical to Left 4 Dead, but for me personally that's kind of a positive simply because I'm just looking for more Left 4 Dead, but that's just me. Another game trailer that really piqued my interest was a game called The Callisto Protocol. It looks totally like a sci-fi horror game, of which that is totally my bag. Another cool fun fact about this game is the head of the developer company behind this game was formerly one of the co-founders of the Dead Space series, which is one of my all-time favorite horror survival franchises. This next trailer I'm not particularly excited for, I just wanted to bring it up because it's a series that I love. They showed another trailer for Dragon Age, I was thoroughly underwhelmed. I'm just not excited at all for Dragon Age, I mean I really hope it's a great game, but it doesn't really help when Mark Dara and Casey Hudson recently left Bioware again, so it just doesn't really seem like a great sign for things to come, but I really do hope it's a great game. Another game that really piqued my curiosity was a game called Crimson Desert. It's made by a Korean developer, and I guess in some sort of way is kind of like a sequel to Black Desert Online. The game in terms of visuals looked incredible, I mean the fighting looked great, and it's a fantasy RPG which is always something that I love. I guess the one negative for me is that from what I'm reading it's not necessarily a single player game, but some sort of hybrid single player with multiplayer stuff, more similar to Black Desert Online of course. I mean I did try and play Black Desert Online and I just couldn't get into it so hopefully the game leans more into single player based stuff for me. Something that I saw that I should not be this excited for is Evil Dead the video game. Evil Dead is just my favorite horror movie series, so I can't help but get excited. It sounded like Bruce Campbell was in the game, which that alone makes me happy. Unfortunately, when looking at the publisher's recent track record, Saber Interactive doesn't really seem to recently have made anything incredible. But for me, Evil Dead is worth seeing if it's good or not, so we'll see what happens.
They ended the event with an announcement trailer for the newest Mass Effect game. Of which, if you can't tell from the song playing right now, Mass Effect is my favorite video game trilogy of all time, and you would think this announcement would have me shooting through the roof? But after Andromeda, I'm not quite sure what to expect from Bioware right now. They're not exactly riding high right now coming off of Anthem either, so I have very mixed feelings about the status of Mass Effect at the moment. So similarly to Dragon Age, I'm cautiously optimistic, and certainly hope that Bioware can turn things around and make Mass Effect great again. My final thoughts on the Game Awards in 2020? I think we can all agree this year hasn't been that fantastic, so any time lately whenever I've seen an event go without any hitches, I think commendations are in order for Jeff Keighley. It was a super clean event and while there was nothing announced that was world shattering, I'm happy just to have something to watch and talk about. What did you guys think about the Game Awards 2020? Do you think it was as bad as previous years with the whole Dorito and Mountain Dew gate problem? Or are you like me and you thought it was a solid show with solid announcements? Did you guys like the games that I chose to talk about and were there any that you felt like for you should have been in there? I'd love to hear back from you. Anyways guys, like always, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I love you, please be safe, happy holidays. And we will see each other once again on the next Enter Chaz Man. Bye guys.